Hello world and welcome back, I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North, and this is Europa Universalis 4, all the expansion packs up to and including Mare Nostrum and MEIOUN Taxes version 1.25. We are playing as the Free Imperial State, Free Imperial City State, I apologize, of Cologne, inspired by the recent announcements of the new EU4 expansion pack by Paradox at Gamescom in Cologne, I decided I would be Cologne. And right now, we are tasked with um, claiming the territory of Berg, our rival. And I would really have wanted to ally with somebody, you know, like Cleves, or somebody like that, somebody, you know, that can actually help me fight Berg, but uh, I can't, because Imper free Imperial states in this game can only ally with other free Imperial cities. So I'm allied with Aachen. Um, and I'm, I eventually want to try to ally with, um, with Frankfurt, maybe Ulm. Where's Frankfurt? Frankfurt is, that's Falkenstein. There we go. Let's see if I can ally with Frankfurt. No, not just yet. So let's improve our relations with them. There we go. Um, but yeah, so... The initial little bit of this game might be a little bit slow. A little bit slow, so if that's not your taste, you know what, um, so be it. But, let's just speed that up a little bit. But, uh, you'll see it as I see it. I mean, there's a lot of, for, for one province minor like this, um, the early game is slow in terms of conquest, in terms of military battles, but the decisions you make here can have profound lasting effects on the rest of the game, so it's really important to make these, to get these right. Um, especially like military technology. We should get military technology in December 1363, which is good because then I can get... We are at five handguns, will get me more land morale. Which, you know, that could be the difference in a close battle. That could be the, that could be a major difference in a close war. Um, we're still developing a cavalry. Uh, but you know what, let's see if we can't. What is my manpower, 7,500? Let's get one more unit of halberdiers. Um, and then that should be good. That should be good. I I wish they still had the um, the population levels in this game. Um, okay, a river flows between this province and Kirkholm and Verberg, which means it's going to be difficult for people to attack me, but it's also going to be difficult for me to attack them, because if I want to attack either side, I have to go across the river. Now, sale of titles, my lord. One of your advisors has suggested selling off titles of nobility to anyone who can afford to pay. It could bring in lots of money and open a way for social advancement for the rich if we do, but it would devalue the idea of nobility and perhaps upset the existing aristocratic families. Should we do this? Yeah, we're a free imperial city. We threw off the shackles of the archbishop. We threw off the shackles of the nobility. Why not? Let's just sell, uh... Let's just sell off those titles. Because really, what is the nobility going to do? They're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. Um, let's see. They're, the burgers' loyalty is 50. Ask for contributions. Demand diplomatic support. Grant monopoly charters. They will gain 10 influence and gain 15 loyalty. Interesting. Let's grant some Monopoly Charters to the Burgers. There we go. There we go. Development cost is down. Trade efficiency is up because of that. Nice. Um, make generous donation to the church. Nope. Call the diet. Nobility will gain 15 loyalty. Yes, let's call the diet. Why not? There we go. Land force limit modifier is going up. Everybody is hunky-dory. Nice. Um, the estates are balanced. And for those of you that don't know, the, the estates traditionally referred to, um, three things. The nobility, the 
the church, the burghers, the rising middle class, and it was in, I believe, the French Revolution that we got the fourth estate, which was the, just the common people, um, and then now we have the fifth estate, which is apparently the media. I don't know. It's a radio show, a TV show up here. Um, but anyways, uh, the different estates were um, given votes in various decision-making councils throughout most, uh, throughout a lot of Northern Europe, especially in, in France. Um, but they were given equal weight. So even though the nobility was small in number compared to, say, the clergy or the merchant class, um, they had the same, uh, they had the same voice. Um, okay. What is this? Why can't I have an alliance with Frankfurt? Until diplomatic tech level 48, the number of alliances a nation have is restricted by rank, court size, and diplomatic tech, unless you share a dynasty. The base rate is one ally for counts and marquis, two for dukes and princes, three for kings, and four for emperors. What is my rank? Uh... Oh, hey, I like that. I can just pop that up. Cool. Um, what is my rank? Uh, county. Oh, okay, so I'm a county, so I'm terribly small, so my base ally is one ally. In addition, each level above or below the base court provides either plus one or minus one to this total. Finally, diplomatic tech levels 19 and 31 provide one each. If your total adds up to zero or less, you cannot have any non-dynastic allies. <laughs> okay, so that restricts massive, massive alliance networks that, you know, would, would tear the game apart. Um, oh, they're allied with Ju Berg is allied with Julik and Luxembourg. So maybe if we attack Julik, wait, where's Luxembourg? Luxembourg is, oh, that's Neymar, that's Liege. Luxembourg, where are you? That's Flanders, Flanders, I know. Flanders. Where, where is Luxembourg? Is this Luxembourg? No, it's Liege. So I know. Why, why don't I know? This is silly. Or is Luxembourg even further south? That's Barrois. Oh, there's Lux. Oh, there, there's Luxembourg. Ew. So, Julik is allied with them. So we have two, four. Let's open... Oh, no, not that menu. Let's open up the ledger. We need to see military. There we go. Armies of Luxembourg. Luxembourg. They have 3,000. So that would be a total of 7,000 men, and we have 8,000. Hmm. I might be able to do it. I take Berg through attacking Julik. Oh, but if I don't have a thing, then... Huh. So I need to cast a spell eye against Julek. This is... Awkward. Um... You know, they're allied with Julek and Luxembourg. They're allied with Berg and Cologne. Yeah, no, I, sorry, I don't actually need to go through Julek to attack them. But... Aachen would be swamped, maybe, by, by them. Hmm, so I, I still do need a spy network. What, why did my spy network... Why did I stop building my spy network? I don't know, but I need it. I need it, because then I can claim the territory in Berg, and then I can attack them, and hopefully uh, Aachen can deal with Julek in Luxembourg while I smash Berg. And then I can... Once Berg has been smashed, then I can turn around, use my armies to then go help out Aachen. That's the plan, right? And we all know that military plans only last until the first shot is fired. Um, that's what we're going to try to do. Because, quite frankly, I want Dusseldorf. It's, it's developed. It's pretty well developed. It's nice. It's nice. I mean, it's no... It's no Cologne, I'll tell you that much. But it's not even a bun. Uh, but you know, but you know, uh, it is what it is. So, let us speed this up. 
and actually the faster the 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 game is running the the lower the frame rate frame rate will be because my computer is emphasizing so much the the background calculations but um but yeah that is what it is actually are there any decision let's see what kind of decisions we can make uh choose a policy regarding our government Ooh, the event internal policies happens okay i i don't know if i've ever done this before let me let me, let me just pause this let me see what happens Okay, internal policies. This event is designed to give you an idea how your centralization efforts are faring. Centralization process is important to have access to more advanced forms of government, to enable the Edict of Moulin as France, to move the French court to Versailles, to abrogate the courts, Cortes and Reynos as Iberian nations, to be able to put an end to micro-nation modifiers, to be able to integrate a junior partner, and to avoid the Bahamanid state disaster. Centralization process is slowed by low monarch administration and low stability. I'm good with both of those. Uh, remember, you can cancel the policy, but not if you have initiated the centralization effort and cancel the policy. You'll slowly lose that progress over time until such time as you reactivate the policy. Provided no changes, centralization should end in 39.321 years. Ew. Okay, so that's just a... That's, that's, that's just a... Uh, uh, an update. It's just a, a report. And how things are going, I guess. But the question is, when it says it's going to end in 39.3 to 1 years, is that just one level of centralization versus decentralization? Or is that... Or is that is that all of the levels? Is that 9 levels or is that 1? I don't know. But we'll have to figure that out. Um, apply for Imperial City status. We should send them a gift. Yes, let us work towards Imperial City status. So, I don't need to improve relations in Frankfurt. So instead I'm going to... Relations. Improve my relationship with the Emperor to then hopefully be able... He will improve my Imperial City status, which, you know, might give me the chance for more allies to then ally Frankfurt. I, I hope that's how that works. Um... You know, let's just drop the army maintenance by a little bit. Actually, um, what's my force limit modifier? My force limit is five. So good. We're good for that. I'm just going to drop that a little bit. Because I don't think Berg is going to attack me. Not just yet, at least. Um, so, my spine oak increases by... 1.6 every month, distance multiplier. Okay, it's slightly far away, so it will reduce that. Risk of discovery per month, nothing. Um, and then hopefully I can take Berg. But then I'll no longer be free Imperial City. I'll just be a Republic. So this might change who I can ally with. I might actually be able to, you know, ally with Cleves or something like that. We'll, we'll have to see. Um... So yeah, so let's see how the Pope's doing. How is Pope? Pope, actually oh, no, the Pope's in, uh, is the Pope in Avignon right now? Yeah, the Pope is in Avignon. This is, it's the Roman territories, but it's not actually the Pope. Are the Roman territories a vassal of the Pope? Yes, yeah, the Roman territories are a vassal of the Pope. That makes sense, that makes sense. At this time, the Roman territories, what are sometimes called the Papal States, or during the Babylonian captivity when the Pope was in Avignon, essentially serving the interests of the French, um, the Roman territories, the Papal States proper in, in central Italy, were run by various families, like the Colonna and and I, I forget the other ones. So having them be a, a vassal that could actually theoretically entirely rebel against them um, makes a lot of sense. And it appears... This guy might not know where he's going. He's just stuttering. Oh, uh, everything is still super slow. Super slow. But that's okay. I have monies. I'm making monies. I'm attempting to root out corruption. It's reducing corruption by 0 0.05 yearly for total yearly change of zero. Do we even need to root out corruption? I do not want my corruption to go up. 
There we go. I'll spend 0 0.07 per month to get rid of all the corruption. That's not bad. I should be able to get some armies soon. Unlock the poll taxes. Blah, 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 blah. So, Zunft. Guilds specific to every sort of craft are found to ensure are founded to ensure the quality of products and to train young artisans. That is a very Germanic idea. Um, add policies, can't do any of that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Is, is there anything I can do right now? Or am I just, just, are we pretty much just waiting? Waiting for the world to change. Oh! Oh, our spy network has been s captured in Berg. That is... Err. <sighs> I can't do that until May 5th, 1361. Okay. So that reduced my spy network. So I can't actually fabricate those claims that I so desperately want. Because once I do that, I'll gain 5 prestige and 25 minute blip, 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 military power, which will be fantastic. Election! The term is up for Johann von Etheren. With enough support, he can stay in office, but then he must defeat three primary competitors. He's a 3 3 3, which is good. Um, I will lose some Republican tradition, which is bad, but you know what? I'm gaining 1.6 every year, so I can keep him for four years, and he'll gain 1 1 and 1. It's just, I will keep Johann von Etheren. There we go. Oops. There we go. Um, yeah, everything is, is pretty good. Because now I get more... Because his raw skills, he's got more experience at the job. He's doing better at the job. Um, his administrative power, diplomatic power, and military power have gone up. Which means I can technically do more things. But I'm still waiting on... A whole bunch of nothing. So, once this gets up to 100, I might be able to become a free... I might be able to become an Imperial City. Which would be good. Which would be good. You know what? Let's speed this up to as high as it can go. Clerical shortage. Our religious leaders are complaining of a shortage of clerics to fill vacant positions in Kola. And despite what Dungeons and Dragons teaches you, a cleric is not somebody that runs around in full body armor swinging a mace and healing people with thoughts and prayers alone. A cleric is essentially just a clerk. That's actually where we get the English word clerk from. A cleric is somebody that was trained in reading and writing, which at this time period predominantly meant people from the church so if you had any kind of administrative business any legal record keeping or things like that these were the people you talked to clerks that's all it means it's a clerk shortage not you know smiting hand of god shortage Increasingly, it appears that people are not attracted to the rigors of religious life and the best and brightest are abandoning ecclesiastical jobs in favor of secular ones eh the root of the problem is simple, though. The people no longer consider the Catholic faith to be central to their lives. Whatever shall we do? Already, our religious leaders are taking measures to deal with it, hiring foreign priests to work in Cologne, and encouraging peasants to take up holy vows. But they warn us that we should expect to face years of shortages of talent among our clergy. Concentrate on shepherding the faithful. I will get m minus one missionary and missionary strength and yearly prestige, but I'm not using my missionary anyways. I only have one territory. I don't really care. My prestige is already going down, which is bad. Focus on missionary efforts. No, no. We'll shepherd the faithful because I don't need that missionary anyways. Um, all right. Let me see. What What else can we do? We can lift the Je de Pomme boycott. Bridges interest with the Curia. I can donate state lands to the church. I can pr pursue religious tolerance. I can form the kingdom of Prussia. Interesting. Um, I can form the German nation eventually. But I have to be... I have to get rid of the Holy Roman Empire first. Interesting. Apply for Imperial City status. That's what I want to do. Um, 
choose a policy regarding our government. Let's see, is it still going to be 34.191 years? Why did that go up? Should be going down. Not go oh, no, it was 39 before. It was 34 now. Right. Oh, oh, I can invest in a new idea. Oh, yo, administrative ideas. Extra advisors. Possible advisors plus one. Uh, no, no, not going to do that. Not going to do that. Uh, I want technology. I want serfdom, which will increase my production efficiency plus 0.5, plus 5%, and a trading post, because then I can increase my trading power. Woo! Because money, money, money makes the world go round. Money is the sinew of war. Oh, I can restart fabricating my spy network. There we go. In Berg, because I want your territories, Berg. Um, yes. <sighs> All right. So, what is going on? It's been about 21, 22 minutes. Um, so you know what? I'm going to call it an end to this one. I'm Karhu, the Great Bear of the North. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please follow me on Twitter at Karhu Gaming. There's a link in my profile. Um, but most importantly, uh, not just keep viewing, but most, absolutely most importantly, I want everyone out there to have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. I'll see you soon.